Hello YouTube. Uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about polishing your mix. So I think in specifics here, we're going to talk about the two bus. So what you can do on the two bus to uh, to get that polish, but also kind of what you should be focusing on right from the get go, and then kind of throughout the whole process, what you can do to tweak and this might be quite plugin specific because I'm using specific plugins to achieve the things that I'm doing so you might need the specific plugins that I'm using or just something that's similar that's doing the same effect or just kind of get the general idea the gist of it and then do it in a different way using your own plugins or your own methods your own creative sort of spin-off or what have you. So for starters, I'll uh, kind of explain what's going on here. So I I have a, what is it? I don't know how many tracks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 tracks. And that, that's not very much. Um, it's enough. But that's not very many tracks to kind of blend together, mix it up, do something with it, right? So, um, and this song specifically is actually an Indaba music mixing contest, and it's still going for another, like, 18 days. So if you see this before, what is it, September 10th or something? Can't remember. Uh, go ahead and download all those stems, sign up for Indaba music, and then you can practice and even submit a submit your own mix and maybe even buy uh, buy maybe even win a microphone so yeah so put that aside um i'll play some of the song so i'll uh, i'll get rid of this two bus stuff and you know what i'm gonna take off all of the plugins so that you're hearing the raw mix and i'll what i'll do is i'll keep the the maximizer on that way you have like some kind of volume going on. So we have drums. Quite a full mic set here. We got hats, overheads, three toms, snare, kick, and two two room mics. One's like a drum room, I guess. Another one is probably out in the hall somewhere. Then we got two bass um, microphones, uh, one DI, one amped. Then we got a guitar, a piano, a lead vocal, and then three background vocals. So, basically, you know, you could start off with some of the, what are the, like the main the main kind of thing going on here. So what I did was I, I felt that the vocal was up front and center, or it should be. That's kind of a main focal. Like, she has a really nice voice. And there's no reason why it shouldn't be up front. And kind of, not in your face, but kind of right there, giving her. So I started mixing from the vocals. And then from the vocals, I went to... What I felt was the next most important was the the rhythm. So just whatever's giving it rhythm. And I felt that the kick and the snare should be dealt with right away too. So I did that. And then from there I did uh, the bass because I wanted the kick and the bass to sit well. And the bass had some of the, some of the melody going on. And then from there I went to the guitar. And then to the guitar I went to the piano. And then from the piano, I think I did, what did I do? I think I did the overheads because I wanted the full drum sound. And at this point, what I had left was toms, the room mics, and the background vocals. And then I think I I finished the background vocals and I kind of spaced them out. I spaced them hard pan, left, right kind of thing so that they kind of 
fit in the mix more creatively. And then I just finished with the, the toms and then I mixed in the room mics to kind of a, a nice level. That sounded quite good. So that's kind of the idea that I went with this song. And then after all of that, so that was probably like a couple hours, three hours of mixing. And then I kind of did some, uh, some two bus work here and I'll quickly show what I have here on the two bus. So I have this NLS channel on all of the channels, including the two bus. And then I have uh, a few other plugins here, like the, the Poltec EQ, the mid, mid range Poltec, the API compressor, soft clipper running into uh, L2. And then I have this BX control here. I'm, I'm just using this for the mono maker. So it takes all the frequencies from 122 kilohertz, no, 122 hertz and below, and that makes that all mono. So this is very basic two bus stuff. Um, yeah, so I, what I can do is just kind of run through most of these plugins. But I want to touch on this first here is all of this two bus stuff that I'm doing. This is basically like my own master. I'm taking this, this tune, this mix, and I'm mastering it on this two bus, like right out of here, right out of the, out of this project. Um, if you were to mix a song and you were going to send it out to get mastered by like a professional, I would have nothing on this two bus. The only exception would maybe be this NLS because what you're doing is you're summing uh, all these tracks down to two channels. And what this uh, plugin here is doing is it's mimicking uh, analog summing. So you can have this on here. That'll mimic that. If you wanted to have some tape saturation on the two buzz, go ahead and do that too. And then this BX control, you could probably get away with this too is making some of this stuff mono and maybe even spreading, but I wouldn't touch any of the spreading because the mastering engineer could do a better job at that. And that will be a much better polish sound if you leave this blank and let the mastering engineer do it. But if you're doing it yourself, like I'm doing it here, um, these are the things that I did to kind of polish it up. So let's start with the mix itself. So the vocals, 